With the number of connections in today's designs, in order to route boards and adhere to strict time constraints, there must be efficient routing options. ORCAD X Presto allows you to quickly route boards with easily configurable fanouts, interactive routing, delay and phase tuning, assisted routing, clearance views, group routing, and more. This quick how-to will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to route boards in ORCAD X Presto. First, let's fan out components and pins in the design. To activate fanouts, right-click on the Add Connect icon on the toolbar and select Fanout. Here you can configure radial fanouts by selecting the arrow direction, via in-pad fanouts and linear fanouts. For this example, we'll select linear and configure the direction as inward. The graphic displays a preview of the fanout and provides helpful information on the configuration. To apply the fanout to a component, click to select the component in the PCB canvas. The fanout has been applied with the vias inward toward the center of the component. Next, let's apply a fanout to individual pins. Back in the fanout window, select Out. In the Selection filter in the Properties panel, click Components to deselect it. This will prevent components from being selected and only select the pins. Pan the view in the PCB canvas by pressing the right arrow key on the keyboard. Click to select pins 5, 6, 7, and 8 on SW1. Only the selected pins have been fanned out and connected to ground. Next, let's use the interactive routing features in ORCAD X Presto to route some traces on the board. Right-click the fan-out icon and select the Add Connect icon from the toolbar. Use the left arrow key to pan the view to see U6 and zoom in with the plus key on the keyboard. In the Add Connect window, select Assisted. The Assisted mode helps to avoid design rule errors while routing. Routing in manual mode will let you place traces even if the placement will result in a design rule error. Configure the Add Connect window with the desired settings. Here you have the ability to define trace width and working layers, select to hug or shove traces, and define the preferred angle lock as 0, 45, or 90. Slide the smoothing bar to the desired automatic smoothing of traces. Click X on the keyboard to hide the Add Connect window. Then click to select pin 38 on U6. Since this is a surface mount part, the layer is automatically set as top. Click to place a short trace, then press V on the keyboard to add a via. Select Inner 1 from the Add Via list. The via has been placed on the PCB canvas from the top layer to the Inner 1 layer. Click the PCB canvas as needed to place the trace. Click to select pin 37 on U6. The layer is automatically set back to the top. Click to place a short trace, then press V on the keyboard or double-click the PCB canvas to add a via. Select Inner 1 from the Add Via list. The via has been placed on the PCB canvas. Select X on the keyboard to bring up the Add Connect window, then select the option to shove traces. Click the PCB canvas as needed to place the trace. Any traces or trace segments are shoved out of the way. Click to complete the connection. Select the arrow icon from the toolbar when finished, then click a blank area in the PCB canvas. Let's continue routing the design by identifying nets that are not connected. In the Properties panel, view the design status and select the hyperlink for unrouted nets. The search panel opens at the bottom of the screen for you to easily review the unrouted connections. This search panel can be filtered and sorted to find the desired objects in the PCB canvas. If the differential pair traces are not displayed at the top of the list, double-click the differential pair column. Right-click on the first entry and choose Select on Canvas, or double-click the entry in the search panel. The PCB canvas pans and zooms to the location of the differential pair. Select the pin icon twice to hide the search panel. The rat's nest lines for the differential pair traces are not visible. To turn on the rat's nest to improve the routing process, select the Visibility tab and choose the Net Display. Here you can configure rat's nest visibility and change the color of nets in the PCB canvas. Click the arrow next to differential pairs to expand the category, and click the rat's nest icon for dp underscore data 3. Selecting the rat's nest icon at the top level, such as groups or differential pairs, will turn on the rat's nest lines for all items in that group. Click the visibility tab to close the panel, then use the arrow keys on the keyboard to pan the view and show the activated differential pairs. Click a blank space in the PCB canvas to deselect the traces. Let's route the differential pairs. Select the Add Connect icon from the toolbar. 
Zoom in as needed with the plus key on the keyboard, then click to select one of the Data3 nets on U1. Both traces are activated. In the Add Connect window, ensure Inner1 is selected from the Start Layer drop-down list. Click to place a trace in the canvas. These nets have been predefined as differential pairs and constraints have been assigned in the Constraint Manager. Click to complete the connection. Critical traces often have strict delay or phase requirements to ensure proper functionality. To add a delay, right-click on the slide icon in the toolbar and select Delay Tune. In the Delay Tune window, the graphic displays helpful information to configure the desired delay tuning. In this window, you can set the pattern, gap, corners, miter size, and more depending on the configuration. Select Assisted and set the corners as square. Click to select a portion of the differential pair trace. In the Properties panel, scroll down to the bottom to view a heads-up display when routing. This display provides real-time feedback on adherence to rules including relative propagation delay. Move the cursor to add delay tuning to the differential pair until the relative propagation delay and static phase are both green, indicating that the required rules are met. Click to place a trace. Next, let's route a group of traces to improve efficiency. Select the Add Connect icon from the toolbar, and then use the arrow keys and the plus and minus keys on the keyboard to adjust the PCB canvas and view the rat's nest visible on the flex portion of the design. Highlight the vias near the flex portion of the board. In the Add Connect window, ensure Start Layer is set to Inner 1, and change the type of trace to Arc. Click one of the vias to start routing. Press X on the keyboard to hide the Add Connect window. Click to place the traces following the flex shape. When you are close to the connector, P2, press Escape on the keyboard. Press X to bring up the Add Connect window and change the trace type to Straight. Complete each connection by selecting a trace and selecting the corresponding pin on P2. Quickly route boards using fanouts, interactive routing, differential pair routing, delay tuning, and more in ORCAD X Presto. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.